All right, so today is the day that I finally remove the green sticker on the back of this watch. I'm nervous, to be honest. Part of me really doesn't want to do it, but the other part of me knows that I have to do it because if I let it stay there, it's going to rot away. It's going to get wet and just fade away. And I don't want that. I want to preserve the sticker and preserve the sticker's integrity as best as I can. I think I would be doing the sticker disservice if I left it on because that holographic texture, okay, this, uh, that, that holographic Rolex, 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 that was actually bigger. So, so this center wear, this central wear there was slightly smaller uh, a couple months ago. And now it's, it's bigger and it's slowly fading the holographic part. And I don't want that. I want to preserve the sticker as best as I can. So I think it's in my best interest to take it off and just wear the watch with a little more peace of mind. The thing is about this watch is that I wear it to the gym every day. I wear it to work, I wear it to the gym, I wear it on the subway, I wear it in the hood. Everywhere I go, I wear this watch. And because of that, especially in summer, I sweat, you know, and the watch, the back of the watch carries a lot of that sweat. And the sweat is damaging the sticker. So I'm gonna take it off. Now, people will say, oh, you shouldn't wear a mechanical watch to the gym. The gym is no place for, for a Rolex. And I would tend to agree if I had a choice. And what I mean by that is, I wear this watch to work and I go to the gym directly after work. And I'm not gonna leave it in the locker, that's for sure. I'm not taking it off my wrist at all. So the safest place for it at that point is on my wrist. And nobody's looking, nobody sees it. And the funny thing is, today, everybody wears an Apple Watch or a smartwatch of some kind. And this watch on the black rubber strap actually kind of looks like an Apple Watch at first glance. So unless you're seeing the dial and bezel directly, you kind of just assume that it's an Apple Watch because it's got that same black rubber strap. So I kind of fly under the radar when it's in this configuration. But when it's on the bracelet, of course, that's a different story. But I wear it on, on the bracelet to the gym as well, because if I wear it to work on the bracelet, then I'm gonna wear it to the gym on the bracelet. You know, I'm not gonna take extra steps throughout my day just to avoid wearing this watch for 30 minutes at the gym. You know, it's a sports watch. People used to do things in their Rolexes. People used to dive with their Submariners. People used to hike with their explorers and explore with their explorers. People used to travel the world with their GMTs. And I always romanticized the relationship between a man and his watch. I think the best experience that you can have with your watch is one where it is with you at all times. It follows you through life. It, it gains wear as you gain wear. It ages as you age. And that's a very romantic idea, and I love that. And for me to take this off when I go to the gym or stop at home and drop off the watch and then go back to the gym, that goes directly against the philosophy that I think you should have with your watch, which is just wear the damn thing. Just experience it. Let the watch live the same life that you're living. And if that means 30 minutes on the elliptical every morning, then that's what's gonna happen. So the only real barrier for me when I wear this watch to the gym is the sticker. The sticker is going to be damaged. The sweat from the back of my wrist is, is gonna fade this sticker. The center portion there, 
that isn't holographic, that wear area, that used to be smaller. Over the last month or so, I have worn it down more. And I project that after six to eight months, there's gonna be no more holographic left. And I do not want that. I don't want that grimy looking solid matte green sticker. I want it to look like this, even if it's just stuck to the to the papers and tucked away and stored away in with the box and papers. Even like that, at least I maintain the sticker's integrity. And I think in the long run, I'll be glad I took it off. Oh, okay, so here we go. Um, I, I'm, I, I'm genuinely nervous, I really... <sighs> Goodbye, sweet stick. Let me just say one thing, one more thing. The sticker is special. It really is. I know it seems like an inconsequential thing, just a sticker on the back of the watch, but they don't make them anymore. When I remove this sticker, that's one less sticker out there forever. If there's a million of these stickers out there, now there's going to be 999,999. No longer a million. If there's 10 of these stickers left in the world, then there's only nine left after today. So it may seem silly that I'm like nervous and hesitant, but it's not, it's not silly. It's, it's a, a relic of Rolex's past. And I feel lucky to have the sticker I really do I wish I could keep it on I wish there was you know sometimes I fantasize about putting a compound on over the top of the sticker you know some sort of glue or liquid plastic or something to provide a layer between the sticker and my wrist but it's too complicated it's too complicated Rolex thought this out Rolex left their case backs clear and just a solid piece of steel for a reason they know that it's the best way to have the watch on your wrist it's the best surface to be on your wrist not the sticker they didn't intend to have the sticker on it us keeping stickers on is just a a byproduct of collecting rolexes and you know obsessing over them all right i'm probably just rambling so i can delay the inevitable but here we go This is what the sticker looks like. <laughs> it doesn't look nearly as good as when it was on the watch. I didn't realize it was it was so transparent. I thought it had you know, I thought it was solid. But it's entirely transparent. It feels like, you know, just that plastic, that hard plastic that you get on like cheap Chinese toys, you know? Um yeah, look, it's a sad day, but in the long run, I will be, I'll be happy. I'll be glad. So here are the papers for the watch. I was thinking of putting it right there, but now that I've held the sticker, I know it's not gonna stick to that. There's no way it'll stick to that. It's not sticky enough. 
in fact, it's not even, it's not sticky at all. It's, uh, look, I mean, you know, I think, yeah, it'll, it'll fall off. You see, it's, it's not even, I'll put a piece of tape over the, over the top of it, I think some, some weak tape so that it doesn't rip the paper if I ever want to take it off. But that's it, honestly. Um, what do I do about this now? Do I just kind of, you know, yeah, it's exactly like, you know, you know what this is. You, you know how stubborn this is. I don't even need to explain how this feels right now. This is that grimy, gluey mess that you get when you take off a sticker. It's no different. So I'm gonna work on that off camera. I mean, look at this. I'm gonna work on that privately and cry myself to sleep. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. I don't know if this has ever been done before, you know, on camera. Maybe it has, but if it hasn't, that's kind of cool. Uh, all right, peace out.